A panel of experts at the Universal Peace Federation has now issued a warning on the growing threat of EMP or electromagnetic pulse weapons. Such an attack can knock out virtually all communications and other critical services of countries in a matter of minutes. For long, experts have warned that key electrical infrastructure in the United States remains particularly vulnerable to an electromagnetic pulse attack or EMP, likely to be orchestrated by China, North Korea or even Russia. The Universal Peace Federation specialists have now said that the U.S. is at a pivotal moment if it wants to avoid a potential doomsday scenario. But to analyze the risk, we must first understand what an EMP is and how it can be weaponized. An EMP weapon is one that directs a massive explosion of energy over an intended target, much like lightning. But in contrast to other conventional weapons, an EMP explosion does not physically harm humans. What it does, though, is cripple all electronic devices and infrastructure within its radius. The weapon at first is glided directly above an intended target. These weapons, according to the U.S. nomenclature, are classified as high-altitude electromagnetic pulse, or HEMP. A HEMP attack can interfere with radio frequency and instantly produce damaging voltage in electronic devices across thousands of miles. It can hinder fuel distribution, transport, food and water supply and most importantly communications especially military communications such attacks can permanently immobilize vehicles with modern electronic ignition and control systems several congressional hearings and commissions in the US have flagged the vulnerabilities of the American power grid in 2015 a congressional committee testified in a joint hearing to discuss EMP weapons and preparedness it asserted that a nationwide grid collapse either via hemp attacks or other conventional methods had the potential to wipe out up to 90% of the American population. According to an analysis by the Task Force on National and Homeland Security, China already possesses so-called super EMPs. Analysts now fear that China's recent test of a new hypersonic glide vehicle last summer could give it impetus to deploy a high-altitude EMP against the United States. Though the U.S. keeps much of its EMP weapons capability classified, it is known that the U.S. Air Force High-Powered Microwave Advanced Missile Project, or CHAMP, is now being expanded. In October last year, a massive power outage in Mumbai in India brought India's financial capital to a grinding halt. In the wake of the disruption, Chinese hackers were blamed for launching a cyber attack. But it did offer just a sliver of the kind of destruction that a similar attack, in this case, through an EMP, could actually achieve. Of late, governments worldwide have expanded mitigation measures against other forms of advanced warfare, including cyber attacks. As for nuclear weapons, all major world powers have them and conform to the mutually assured destruction doctrine for deterrence. But based on the U.S.'s own assessment and preparedness against EMPs, there is still much more to be done. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.